brief interruption to the video you are about to watch. Future me in this video has no idea this is happening. I just had to pop this into the video because I am so, so excited to share with you guys that I have been recognized by Stage Scene LA with a Scene Award for breakout lead performance in a musical for my role as Elle Woods. <laughs> That is one of the six awards that the production of Legally Blonde received, and I am just so honored to be recognized. This is just the beginning. All right, let the music play. The party continues. Last time we saw each other, I was going out for the first time in three months with my cast celebrating the end of Legally Blonde. I am still celebrating the enjoyment of this amazing show closing. We have a bottle of champagne here that was sent for my friend Hannah who wasn't able to make the show, but of course sent her treat to toast to it. And I haven't had the opportunity to drink it just yet. What a better occasion than to pop it on camera and to celebrate what is next. Just celebrate the ending of this amazing chapter. I am all glammed up because tonight I will be going out with some friends. I have called everybody I know and I'm like, are you available? I am free for the first time in a long time. I, oop, I should have done this before I put my nails on. Towards the tail end of rehearsal and right before we started shows, I asked you guys, what should I do with my nails for shows? And I was leaning towards French tip, pink French tip. It ended up being that I didn't even have a choice in the matter because I was pulled in so many different directions that I had to cancel my nail appointments two separate times and I was just like, okay guys, I'm trying way too hard for something that is so microscopic. And instead, I'll just get the nails at the end of the show and treat myself. Ordered a pack on Amazon and it has pink French tips as well as some white French tips so like I can shake it up, but not just that. I also got these cute little charms that you can put on them. I went with the super chunky, big, long nail vibe, which is usually something I don't do. Agents usually don't want you having any sort of like nail polish or chipped or any sort of distraction. But before I dive back into it and probably go back to the nude and like really camera ready nails, I wanted to do the long and chunky. Everything that I'm not allowed to do when I'm really strict with myself now is the time. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is dangerous. Screenshot this, ladies. Oh my God, that is so light. That is perfect for summer. I do want to note that I didn't know until I had already put the nails on my nail. They weren't sticking because these are specifically meant for UV light. And you're supposed to seal sealed the deal with the UV and they were not sticking on there and I was like reading the box quickly to see what was going on and I was like oh my gosh I'm supposed to cure under a UV slash LED lamp and I'm looking at Ryan and do we have that he's like no like try to run outside and see if that works so I did literally just holding my hand to the sky trying to get this to stick I mean they're on so I was literally just holding my hand to the sky trying to get this to stick So I'm not going to use the glue that it came with it because to run outside to have it sealed with the sun We can't do that right now. I'm going to use a glue that I have from a past set We are currently in the space of the post-show depression This is when you are post-show and you're so depressed because you can't even fathom a life without your castmates Or doing the show every single day and you have to sit with that and you just get that really close bond, especially towards the end. And then so then to go from that to then not seeing them at all and not getting to perform is just a lot all at once emotionally. And you just have to kind of like, you know, let it go. And with the corny line from a chorus line is that this gift was ours to borrow. And I am so appreciative of getting to play Elle Woods. And I understand that this was a gift to borrow. Now is the time to put her down and let another girl shine in that Elle Woods role. I feel like the toughest part about this phase as an actor is like you find yourself back at square one. The cyclical nature of this profession is that you are just constantly like looking for a job, getting the job and then it ends and then working and working. Like the hustle to find the next role or the next audition is like immediately after. As you know, you guys have watched me, you have to go through constant, constant auditions and a lot of rejection and a lot of no's before you find that role. This process can be extremely exhausting and disheartening, which is why it is so important to remember the job of the actor, which is to keep 
keeping on and being persistent and in this time working on your craft and not giving it up and getting lost in like the oh my god what is my next role because you can get caught in that oh my god I'm never gonna perform again pause as you've noticed I haven't done any of the charms or anything like this I knew I knew I was gonna be able to do my nails on camera like I get so focused in chatting with you I haven't done anything imagine if I would have tried to do my nails on camera I would have nothing also it would be interesting because you'd be watching me try to glue these on and them not sticking with that being said it's time to put on a Hello Kitty. Oh my god, this is like surgery. If you know me, you know I have like the shakiest hands in the world. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I really hope that Miss Kitty can withstand tonight. I'm like sickly obsessed. This was bad. I probably should have made a plan before started. I started sticking them on my hand. Oh god, do you see? Do you see that? Sticking on my finger a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh my god. And that's why when an actor finally books a role, it is incredibly fulfilling. Like it finally validates all that hard work and all that effort, that blood, sweat and tears that goes into booking a role. So it's tough once you do get it and you put your whole everything into it and then you're like, all right, we must turn in. But that is also why it is so special because it is that gift to borrow. The high of booking and being a part of the creative process outweighs the tough days and the ones where you're like, should I keep going? So this is one of those moments that I have to really relish in and celebrate and remember this moment because again, it is just those waves and flows. But right now we are on a high, so we must continue to party. And I must continue to do my nails. I think I'm gonna do a bow next. So back to the question that I have been asked since before the show even closed believe it or not whoa oh all right she's gone is oh let's get that there let's get that on before i finish the sentence what's next what's the next thing <laughs> and let me tell you that that's one of those questions that like gets us like oh like i'm literally in the l wig and they're like so what are you doing next and i'm like i'm trying to stay present and enjoy this moment right now like i'm not sure what i'm doing next i know that that question is just coming out of like genuine like excitement to be like okay so what is going on next and i do appreciate it and it's so sweet and the answer is i'm off to find my next show I'm off to find my next dream and my next role. What I discovered about myself was, oh my gosh, I wanna do this role, that's such a dream role. I wanna chase after all these auditions. Here's the list of all the roles, dream roles I wanna do, which I will be tapping into that dream role list very, very soon. Stay tuned subscribe in addition to tapping into that dream roles list i really really want to sit down and take that time to educate myself and learn so many more musicals i audition for the musicals that i know and i get excited about because i can see myself in them if i could just open my mind and be more open to more musicals and learning more musicals that can expand my book and my like want to be in more shows so please please my musical theater friends comment below your favorite musical and like your top three that it's like if you have not seen these please go watch them my friend the other day was like have you seen newsies Nope, haven't seen Newsies. An amazing musical, but I haven't sat myself down and watched it. Why not? Now is the time. What if there's a role in there for me? Have you watched Guys and Dolls? Nope, I haven't watched Guys and Dolls. And why is that? How do I know that there's not a role in there for me? Like, you can't know what you don't know. So I will be embarking on this journey of not only auditions, but also education. So please comment below some of that material and those shows. It doesn't just have to be musicals, but also plays. If we are going to do this and we are going to chase this dream of being in musical theater and being in the space in this community, we need to really know the foundations and all the material. And I can't wait to discover my soon to be favorite musicals of all time. There are musicals out there that I have not watched that I'm gonna be like, how did I not know of this before? That's, that is honestly how I feel about every musical. Every time I see a new musical, I'm like, how did I not know about this musical before? Like, I'm so glad it's in my life now. So allow me to enrich my life with more musicals. Then when I see the auditions come up for it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember watching that show. I feel like I could be in that show. I'm gonna be really putting myself out there and just really, again, just trying to be in this theater community and see what project is next for me. And I know that it will come and find me, but I also have to be proactive in it. So I'm not exactly sure what's next, what the name of the next show is or the name of the next project is, but I'm very excited to find out. I'm so hungry for it and I'm so excited to be committed and dedicated to being in this space and just working really, really hard. I just wanna to cheers to the next chapter filled with new shows, new experiences, new opportunities. Thank you so much for joining me along on this journey. It feels so good to be here and I'm just so excited to see what's next. So cheers and I will see you at the next one so very soon because there is some sort of bucket list thing. I can't just yet. I will see you very soon. Salud. Cute. This is the one that keeps falling off.